What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Let's go, uh... Excuse me? Excuse me? You don't... You don't approve? You got... You got some shit to say? I can be in aggressive mode, lady. You know, what, do you, what do you got on you? Let me see. Do you have anything? Frying pan? I don't even want your frying pan. Talk more shit next time I end you. I'll kill you. And I will just pay the fine for murder. I will move on with my day like nothing happened. It was Nuwala Ignis who stirred the magics of Aod. At least now we may restore the balance of the ruin before the rest of Dalentarth is engulfed in flames. What is this? You caught her crafting this, you say? Remarkable. Just utterly remarkable. I cannot fathom how Adept Ignis was capable of breaching the seals of Aod. Better, it is as if the element of fire has been given. You have done well. I have another assignment for you. For Adept fell recently. I probably should have mentioned that the guy was possessed. But, uh, not my problem. Here. To Tam's Wagon. A very distinct location. Known throughout the land for having the best discounts on beef jerky. Which apparently also gives diarrhea, judging from the groanings of all these people. The Unquiet Bride. Okay, don't remember picking up that quest, but... Goodbye. Ah, y'all aren't dead. I'll have to change that. I think I might respec sooner rather than later. I mean, I like mage, but to be honest, it is kind of just... Trivializing all the combat. Like, everything just dies. I look at stuff and it dies. I don't need to... <laughs> And we are, in case anyone uh, forgot, we are back on very hard. We switched back when we came to this zone. Which, like, enemies are, are still a little bit stronger, but it's not like, uh... <clears throat> they're not as strong as those, uh... What's it called things? Nis... Niskars? Niskaru? I think it was Niskaru. This doesn't look good. I was like, yes, I'm here with the quest. And I'm like, I'll get to you. I need to loot all these corpses first. Just kind of a thing I do. Plastic resonance, body temperatures, still well above ambient. Ah, uh, forgive my manners. If you would be so kind, as you will be in my thoughts. did not exaggerate your prowess. I follow their trail from Melaglia in the hope that they carried a letter from the missing. The message names are lightly suspect. Continue on with that. I am not accustomed to see to your task. Near. You will be in my thoughts. I just want my ring upgraded. Oops. 
Let's try this again. Oh, what the shit? They got me. I didn't even see it coming. I probably got a, a save when I fast traveled though. So we should be good. You just go to Tam's wagon instead of teleporting into a mass of enemies. Wait, the Unquiet Bride, is that the actual... Oh, quest that I'm on. And I really need... I need a new fantasy RPG. Like, I know I could probably replay Inquisition, but I had done... Inquisition twice, and the thing is, the only so I did, uh, I did a full rogue playthrough of Inquisition on the channel, and then I did a drunk through of Inquisition, where I made uh, a biggest character, basically just like a berserker dwarf, running around smashing everything. So if I did decide to do a playthrough of Inquisition, um, pretty much guaranteed it would be a mage playthrough because it's the only playstyle I haven't experienced. But we're basically doing a mage playthrough of this. So, I don't know if that would be too much mage on the channel. Which, just to, to add more mage into the mix, I was thinking about doing a, um... I was thinking about doing a Bloodborne playthrough on stream. And in particular, an Arcane build. Because it's one of the few playstyles I've never done in Bloodborne. Which, while not technically a mage build... Oh my god! What the shit? As soon as I talk about, like, how easy the difficulty is, I just start getting murdered. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about, I don't know, I feel like it's been a while. I need to, I need to, like, keep, like, a true souls like on the channel every, at least once a year. And I think if I was going to play anything that uh, Bloodborne would probably be what I'd, I'd revisit. I think that was actually, like, the last one revisited, but just thinking about, um... You know what would be the most fun to play on stream i think i'd enjoy bloodborne a lot more than revisiting one of the souls games again it's like with souls games i mean geez i've done especially with dark souls 3. like with dark souls 3 i have done strength i have done the dex bleed type build i've done quality builds i've done uh, faith builds and magic builds and kind of did a, a hex or a dark sorcery build but it doesn't work all that well in three i guess it works a little bit better after you have the dlc but <clears throat> still kind of eh. um dark souls 2 obviously i've done everything in dark souls 2 like everything Dude, these bears are just not being stunned at all by anything And then Dark Souls 1. Like I've done the pyromancies. I did my, my dark magic build with the remaster. I've done strength builds. I don't think I ever did a dex build of Dark Souls 1, but dex builds are like one of those things where once once you've played a dex build once, you've done them all, you know. All dex builds play relatively the same. There's there's some actually no wait, I did do a dex build. I think I did a scythe build for Dark Souls 1 at one point. Because everyone's like, oh, Scythe's so good. Scythe's so OP. Gotta play with the Scythe. So uh, I probably did do that. But an Arcane build, that's something I never did. It's something I actually planned for in Bloodborne. I, I planned to do an Arcane build. I had, uh, back before they patched the, the dupe exploit, I, like, duped up all the shit I would need to make it, like, a super OP Arcane build. And then just never did it. I mean, obviously, if I was going to go back and do a stream run, I would just make a whole new character. I wouldn't uh, revisit a character that had been prepped. Just because it, it's, you know, not very... Uh, the Lord of Tides, kind of takes away the whole point of a stream. The Bandon Prince of Melaglir. He forged from blood a sword of sin to cut and rend and sear. From hardened hearts his people wept, tears to flood from stone unbroken. The long forgotten truth unspoken. I'm getting some like really good stuff. But I still don't think I have found. No, Sylvanite is still the highest tier I have. Same with Greatsword. Greatsword, I can't go higher than 130. 
Was the hammer? Azerite. So I could make a Sylvanite greatsword, though. Do I have the stuff? No, I don't think I have uh, anything. No, Sylvanite is, is the highest tier I still have for every weapon type. Okay, maybe I knew to just fork over the money and buy one of those, uh, the uh, Prismir, and then break it down and hope. On a darkling wind, something about you. I am Patrick Morcar. Ah, her master. I suppose she left in a hut. Me? How would that be a stranger? God, these things are obnoxious. The little. <laughs> Little orbs just boom, 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 boom. Oh, I already got the book. Probably need to read it. Looks like I got this way. Up to what? I'm at 318,000. I could afford to make the Sylvanite Chakrams. But at the same time, I, my damage, where I'm at right now, my damage comes from spells. The Chakrams are tickling enemies in comparison to what my spells do. Combo combo magic's pretty good.
shitty kobolds, man. I need something better. I need something worth fighting. So I'm gonna just go this way. I don't need to fight those stupid things. It's gotta be like some kind of boss type enemy down here that I can fight, right? I need more than a couple fake Gorda to justify popping my shit. Oh, I thought you were my guy for a second. There you go, little guy. Actually, you know what? Let me, um... Let me put that there. That there, because I'm I'm rarely, rarely using the heal in combat since it's a channel. Like when I use that heal, I'm mostly using that shit out of combat. But this guy I'm keeping up full time, so we'll put him on our main bar for now, and I can swap over and get the heal up if I need to. Gin, what's the Engar doing, sending a neophyte to rescue me? Doesn't he understand what's going on here? There is a necromancer in Mel Aglia. Look around you. Patrick Morkin's wife may have died from natural causes, but nothing natural brought her back. I know because I've been watching her walking corpse feast on prisoners for over a week. She and her husband are nearby. If you strike quickly, you can catch them by surprise and end this war. As threatening as this dead wife may seem, she's just an... I'll see to getting out of this cell. Oh, by all means. Bones. Yeah, but anyway, so back kind of before I was... I got sidetracked talking about Bloodborne and everything else. Oh, that was close. I think the thing is, I just, I need like, I need a new fantasy RPG. Cause I know there's lots of games that have just come out, like Wasteland 3, for example. But <clears throat> when it comes to RPGs in particular, my, my niche, the things I enjoy are the fantasy ones. Things like Dragon Age, things like this, things like Skyrim. You know, that's just, that's my jam. That is what I play. This isn't what it looks like. Oh, fine. Is it really so hard to understand? One thing. Your time travels. I mean, I was gonna be like, yeah, I get it, you love your wife, but then he had her attack me. Like when we saw the uh when we saw very little, to be clear, but from what we saw of uh Dragon Age 4, that looks like it's gonna be fucking dupe. And I'm like, give it to me now. Two mana per second. Persuasion and damage during daytime. It's not bad, but it's kind of just like a real, it's, I don't know. It's a bit of a mixed bag. It, it's a mixed bag. I like mana regen, but damage during daytime. Well, I don't know. Right now I have what, 20 physical damage? I think about it like that. Hey, I'm gonna remove you out of the junk. Let me see. No, I have 20 flat damage. So this is 20 flat damage during half the time. Persuasion boost and regen. There... I don't know if there's an easy way to tell the time in game. I think I just have to wait. I mean, I can look at the sky, obviously, but I don't know if the game just has day night cycles or if it's like evening type shit let me let me see kingdoms all right move the mic over kingdoms of hamler day night cycle um you can look at the sky do, 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 do. 
day, dawn, day, dusk, night. As far as I know, there's no way of telling time directly. So if the game splits into day, dawn, dusk, night, um, another thing I'm seeing says the day, night cycle is 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Time of day can be found on the main menu screen. Where you choose equipment quest. Uh, I don't see that here at all. Looking to maximize day night gear is the best way to get your percentage up. Granted, you'll need a day set and a night set, and you'd have to pay attention. Yeah, I'm not dealing with all that shit. I'm way too lazy to worry. Same with that. Let me get rid of that. I don't need the physical damage now. Oh, that though. Mm, yeah. After all this, I'm grateful to be alive. And I must say, I'm impressed, Neophyte. I will remain behind, attend to the village. You should buy them. Saved your ass. Uh, I think I have way more than four orbs, because I get like seven or eight explosions the orbs last so i don't know if it's just the orbs being glitchy or what Actually, you know what? Let me go. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna we're gonna test this. I don't know if this will actually work. It is the hero of No. Another time then. Hell, looking to restock. Oh, come on, dude. No, hey, who was it? You're not the person I need. Um, who was it? I thought it was these guys. I've got plenty of supplies. Yeah, I mean, this is. They don't have what I want. I want the the Prismier stuff. I think. I think maybe inventory cycles as time goes on. I should have bought the Prismere Chakrams when I had a chance. But there's other merchants here. Good luck. Um, check over here by them. See if I can find them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game, buy Prismere, um, break them down. Oh, perfect. Prismere Chakrams. And they're only a whopping 274,000. 128, 159. Why? Why is this cheaper? This makes no sense. Required level 16. Just because the required level? 128. This is better, though. Well, this is what I wanted to test. So let's find out. So we are going to buy these and then I'm going to try and break them down Prismere Flame Disc 82 Prismere Flame Disc so what is the other thing you had Lightning. Dagger. What farewell. I'm gonna I'm gonna try both. Now that I know I can do it though. Um So for Prismere with the physical, the fire, and the burning, I'm getting one 
Oh, the base is 125. I guess my damage is boosted, though. So either way, it's a 125. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. I was in right here. Sword, hammer, dagger. Come see me again. <laughs> and if I break down the lightning. that again I didn't even get the thing from it so it's, it's like I guess it's just a chance to get it let me try the lightning one more time because with as much fire and lightning or fire and ice as I already do I prefer to have lightning on the chakram prismere shaktus there we go and in terms of crafting it's only 100 so, in that case, um, I guess we're just going to go fire. It's interesting that the fire has a higher base damage, like, by far. Like, I get that, you know, the lightning has a chance to stun people. But it doesn't seem like the stun's that good. Let's see. Fifty percent chance for propagating shocking damage. 80 lightning, 30, yeah, so that's 30% chance to stun on this ability, not on all lightning, I don't think. If you've things to kill, I've got things to sell. Farewell. To be fair, I probably could just use this, because the damage is significantly higher. I lose out on health and mana, the critical hit damage with physical, which is negligible. The damage boost is negligible because this is already higher. The biggest things I'd be missing out on are 45 health, 45 mana, and 2 mana regen per second. Otherwise, these are just flat superior. But I might be able to make them even better. So let's... I mean, this episode is almost done anyway. We're gonna... We're gonna try and make some god chakrams to wrap this up. So... So 159 is what they go up to. If I were to craft them... 2131, 2110. Um, I would do mana. Sixty health and mana. Probably the 45 45 again. And then that. So 166 with physical, fire, mana steel, a huge boost. Yeah, that's. That's, uh. I'm gonna call it Burning Bright. Sounds anime as fuck. Those look real good. I mean, just the, the boost, 105 to health and mana. What is my health and mana at? Yeah, that's significant. That's that's huge. That literally, that literally uh, a 50% increase to my health with these. And they have critical hit chance as opposed to damage on them. And they have the mana steal. Like, that's... Blows the sexy chakrams away. More damage. Mana steal over mana regen. Critical hit chance, higher bone. Yep, 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 yep. That's that's uh, that's what we're working with. To be fair, I used up. Um... Shit, I'm supposed to sell those. Whatever. Does not matter. I'll sell you weapons, but if it's um, sell my junk. There we go. See, I'm back up to one hundred and fifty-eight thousand. 
I think that'll be worth it. I think having some some bigger chakrams will will help us quite a bit. Uh, but it looks like we're heading on up to, I guess, the headquarters of this place next. So stay tuned. I'll catch y'all soon enough with more.